For this one, I would like to update on how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.3 on iPad Mini 2 and even the iPhone 5S after you have downgrade. And if you haven't seen the downgrade video, you can check from the link in this video description. For this one, it is a new tutorial on how to jailbreak these devices on 10.3.3 because not many people make this kind of video in 2020. And for those of you that still own the older device, it may be good for you. So first, after you have downgrade, you need to erase um, in setting one more time. So you need to go to setting and go to general and scroll all the way down and go to reset and make sure you erase um, all content and setting. This method is very important because if you don't erase all content and settings from your device, you may fail to install a jailbreak apps. So you need to erase it. So I'm going to erase it real quick. Now the erase process is finished. So I'm going to set up my iPad real quick. So I'm going to speed this video up. Now we are back to the home screen. Now what you need to do, go back to setting. Then make sure you go to your Wi-Fi and go to um, this Wi-Fi. You need to configure an app and add the URL. So at the bottom, you're going to go to here. And then you're going to add the URL as I tie here. So I'm going to put it up on the screen. Now after you have done that, hit on return. And then you need to go back and make sure you turn off and turn back the Wi-Fi on. And after that, um, after your Wi-Fi is connected, you're going to go back to Safari and scroll all the way down and make sure you clear history and website data and I'm going to clear it and after that you can just go back to Safari and it's time to install the ball helix so I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the store in order to install the ball helix now you can select on the top here Then you're going to click on install FT iOS. Then it's going to ask you to click on allow. Click on allow here. It's going to bring you to setting and hit on install. And if you have password, it is going to ask you for the password. But because I don't have the password on my iPad, so it didn't ask. And now I can just go back to my home screen here. You're going to see the new store that we have just installed. Now you can open it. After that, at the bottom, you're going to click on store. And after that, go to jailbreak app. Then you're going to scroll down and find the ball helix. So in order to jailbreak iPad mini 2 and the iPhone 5S, we need the ball helix because it supports 64-bit devices. So this device is 64-bit. So we're going to click on this one. And then on the select version here, you need to select on the top one. Now hit on select, hit on install, sorry. Then you can just go back. And while it is installing, you can just quickly go to setting and then go to Safari and clear history and website data one more time. And then you can just go back and you should be able to install the ball helix as you can see here. So you can just run it. And but first you need to trust. So go back to setting and then go to general scroll down and click on profile and device management select on the profile here trust trust one more time and now go back and you should be able to open the ball helix so you can begin to jailbreak and if it pop up to safari you can just close and go back here now i can just begin to jailbreak Your iPad should be respring, so you can just wait for the respring process. It may um, take a while. Now unlock your iPad 
and then you can just go back here and you're gonna find side idea and you can launch side idea here and you're gonna take a look at the bottom and I have 10.3.3 .3 on my iPad mini 2 here finally thanks for watching I hope this quick update is help you then I will see you guys in the next one